Hi. I am your teacher. Call me Jay. Great to have you today. Let's start our class. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. By William Shakespeare. This means that, all of us have our own value regardless of our status. It might be different from others, but surely it has a major role. Thus, we should learn to mold ourselves to become the best of what we can be. Human Development Major Principles Development is relatively orderly. For example, Naskiel and Ken will learn to sit, crawl, then walk before they can run. The muscular control of the trunk and arms comes earlier as compared to the hands and fingers. This is the proximogestal pattern. During infancy, the greatest growth always occurs at the top of the head with physical growth in size, weight, and future differentiation gradually working its way down from top to bottom, for example, neck, shoulders, middle trunk and so on. This is the cephalocaudal pattern. By understanding how characteristics develop, we can make relatively accurate and useful predictions about learners and design effective instructional strategies based on our knowledge of development. While pattern of development is likely to be similar, the outcomes of developmental processes and the rate of development are likely to vary among individuals. What were shared in the small group discussion on what Naskiel and Ken may become were premised on many ifs. Meaning, if they come from a good home with loving and caring parents, they may develop into warm and responsible children, adolescents, and adults. Naskiel may develop faster, and more favorably than Ken, due to differences in heredity and environment. Since heredity and environment are different for different people, it seems obvious that individuals will encounter factors that make them different from other individuals. As a result, we can expect individual differences in developmental characteristics and variation in the ages when people will experience events that will influence their development. Development takes place gradually. Nashiel and Ken won't develop into pimply teenagers overnight. It takes years before they become one. Development as a process is complex, because it is the product of biological, cognitive and socio-emotional processes. Biological processes involve changes in the individual's physical nature. The brains of Naskiel and Ken develop. They will gain height and weight. They will experience hormonal changes, when they reach the period of puberty, and cardiovascular decline, as they approach late adulthood. All these, show the biological processes in development. Cognitive development, involves changes in the individual's thought, intelligence, and language. Naskiel and Ken develop from mere sounds to a word becoming two words, the two words becoming a sentence. They would move on to the memorizing their first prayer. Socio-emotional processes, include changes in the individual's relationships with other people, changes in emotions, and changes in personality. As babies, Naskiel and Ken responded with a sweet smile when affectionately touched or frowned when displeased and even showed temper tantrum when they could not get or do what they wanted. Two Approaches of Human Development If you believe that, Nichel and Ken, will show extensive change from birth to adolescence, little or no change, in adulthood and decline, in late old age, your approach is traditional. In contrast, if you believe that even in adulthood, developmental change takes place as it does during childhood, your approach is termed lifespan approach. 1. Development is lifelong. It does not end in adulthood. No developmental stage dominates development. 2. Development is multidimensional. Development consists of biological, cognitive, and socio-emotional dimensions. 3. Development is plastic. Development is possible, throughout the lifespan. 4. Development is contextual. Individuals, are changing beings in a changing world. 5. 
Development, involves growth, maintenance, and regulation. Growth, maintenance are three, three, goals of human development. The goals of individuals, vary among developmental stages. For instance, as individuals reach middle and late adulthood, concern with growth, gets into the backstage, while maintenance and regulation, take the center stage.